Short Mountain, Lane County's only landfill. For garbage in our county, this is the final stop. Today, Short Mountain consists of 580 acres, of which 216 acres are permitted for solid waste disposal. No matter where you throw away a piece of garbage, in Florence or Eugene, Springfield or Cottage Grove, eventually it'll make its way here. With over 382,000 residents and growing, we need a place to put all the garbage that we all generate. Let's go see what's happening here. Short Mountain Landfill receives a thousand tons of garbage every single day. It's brought here by trucks that collect garbage from the bins on the curb, dumpsters at businesses, and other collection containers around Lane County. Or it comes here for one of Lane County's 15 transfer stations. Once the trucks are full, they drive to the landfill and deposit the waste. Trucks drive up to the tipping deck where they unload their garbage into the active landfill area. Big compactors push the waste around, mixing it together and compacting it tightly. These compactors weigh 125,000 pounds a piece. There's no just throwing it away, it's putting it somewhere else. And that place is here. Behind me is the working face and that's where we work every day. I push the garbage out to my partner in the compactor and he places the garbage and puts it away for the day. It's continually um, pushing and compacting the garbage all day, every day. Landfilling garbage has changed uh, in a number of ways. It's a very heavily regulated industry. There's a lot of thought and planning and engineering that goes into everything. From the way they place the garbage in lifts uh, to the amount of times a compactor runs over something to get that maximum squeeze out of that garbage. The more garbage we can pack into a cubic yard, the longer the landfill will, will last Lane County. Short Mountain is a modern landfill that is specially designed to protect the nearby environment from the waste we generate. A sophisticated liner system contains the waste within each cell. The liner system is made up of layers of soil, compacted clay, and geotextiles. The liner prevents the waste from escaping or impacting the soil below. It rains a lot in Western Oregon, and making sure to collect garbage water is our number one priority at the landfill. On average, 40 to 50 inches of rain falls during the year. As the rain filters through the exposed garbage, it becomes contaminated. We call this liquid leachate. The leachate gets pumped from the bottom of the landfill into a storage tank or lagoon. Then it's hauled away in tanker trucks to the nearby wastewater treatment facility. The pipes on the top of the landfill are part of the gas collection system. Landfill gas is generated by the organic materials in our waste. Stuff like newspaper, wood, and food. These materials would normally decompose if left outside with oxygen and moisture. Instead, these materials are underneath the layers of the landfill where they're compacted so tightly there's no oxygen. So instead of decomposing, they produce methane gas. Fortunately, we can use landfill gas to generate power. These four huge internal combustion engines are turning a generator that puts the electricity straight into the power grid. The waste at the landfill generates enough methane gas to power over 1,200 homes in South Lane County. That means the landfill is powering lights, blenders, and hair dryers in our community. When a cell at the landfill is full, it's capped with a cover liner and new vegetation is planted on top. From far away, you'd never even know this hill was made of waste. When Short Mountain opened in 1976, officials estimated it would take about 100 years to fill up with waste. After 45 years in operation, new estimates predict it'll take another 160 years to fill the remaining space. That means we've extended the life of our landfill. Now that we know where the garbage goes, we can think about our choices and help reduce waste in our county.